Hello, my name is Jonathan Biznet, and in this video I'm going to uh, demonstrate a special little device I picked up recently at Electronic Gold Mine. It's called a Hall Effect Magnetic Sensor. And this device, similar to the one here, if you look at it, it looks a lot like a transistor, but it's actually flat. It has a little bit of edge off of the, the two sides, if you see it from the top here. And it's relatively small. But basically what it does is it recognizes magnetic field and the effect, named after the guy who, uh, who discovered it, is, really has to do with how the electrons move through a conductive material. And it's able to measure uh, whether they're traveling evenly through that material or whether they're being pulled to one side or the other. And based on that, it can then drive an output. So it's really a three lead chip, uh, power, ground, and an output. So as an example, I have a bar magnet here. Uh, not a bar magnet, I have a U, U magnet. And if I put this close to a sensor, and I guess I need to get the other pole. If I get this close to the sensor, you'll see the LED goes out. If I flip it over and put it close to it again, the LED will go on. It's really a relatively simple circuit that's totally driven off the magnetism in the magnet and on the chip and on the chip. I've got a schematic for this uh, that they gave me and the, the circuits built really around that. The transistor is only there because the the uh, output from the chip is relatively low but it's enough to drive the base of the transistor and therefore turn on the LED. The, um, the schematic I'll show you here to move out here a little bit. Uh, kind of, uh, you see the chip here coming down, going to voltage, uh, going through a PNP transistor along with uh, uh, the output coming out through an LED off the collector and a 220 ohm resistor that goes up to that middle, L, uh, to the middle pin. And on the other side, you've got. Uh, Coming off of the output, you've really got a, fi a 510 ohm resistor going to the base and then a, a 1K ohm resistor between the base and the positive voltage and then of course positive voltage going up to the, uh, the other pin on the sensor. Uh, if I zoom back out, maybe make that a little easier to, to see. That's the circuit. The, uh, the chip, the sensor was actually relatively inexpensive. It was, uh, I think I got four for a dollar. So it was really, really uh, kind of a cool little device and very inexpensive. Anyway, I hope you found this circuit interesting.